Tiruvananthapuram IPA T I run T perm listen also known by its former name Trivandrum is the capital of the Indian state of Kerala It is the most populous city in Kerala with a population of 957730 as of 2011 The encompassing urban agglomeration population is around 1.68 million Located on the west coast of India near the extreme south of the mainland, Tiruvananthapuram is a major information technology hub in Kerala and contributes 55% of the state's software exports as of 2016. Referred to by Mahatma Gandhi as the ''Evergreen City of India'', the city is characterized by its undulating terrain of low coastal hills. The AYs ruled the present region of Tiruvananthapuram until the 10th century. With their fall in the 10th century, the city was taken over by the Shara dynasty. The city was later taken over by the Kingdom of Vinad in the 12th century. In the 17th century the King Marthanda Varma expanded the territory and founded the princely state of Travancore and Tiruvanantapuram was made capital of Travancore. Following India's independence in 1947, Tiruvanantapuram became the capital of Travancore Cochin state and remained capital when the new Indian state of Kerala was formed in 1956. Tiruvanantapuram is a notable academic and research hub and is home to the University of Kerala, Kerala Technological University, the regional headquarters of Indira Gandhi National Open University, and many other schools and colleges. Tiruvananthapuram is also home to research centres such as the Indian Space Research Organisation's Vikram Sarabhai Space Centre, the Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology, and a campus of the Indian Institutes of Science Education and Research. The city is home to media institutions like Toons India Limited and Tata Elksi Limited, and is also home to Chitranjali Film Studio, one of the first film studios in Malayalam cinema, and Kinfra Film and Video Park at Kajikoatam, which is India's first infotainment industrial park. Being India's largest city in the Deep South, it is strategically prominent and hosts the Southern Air Command headquarters of the Indian Air Force, the Thumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station and the upcoming Visionjam International Seaport. Tiruvananthapuram is a major tourist centre, known for the Pamanabhaswami Temple, the beaches of Kovalam and Varkala, the backwaters of Puvar and Anchuthengu and its western Ghats tracts of Panmudi and the Agastimala. In 2012, Tiruvananthapuram was named the best Kerala city to live in, by a field survey conducted by the Times of India. In 2013, the city was ranked the 15th best city to live in India, in a survey conducted by India Today. The city was also selected as the best governed city in India in the survey conducted by Janagraha Centre for Citizenship and Democracy in 2017. Etymology The city gets its name from the Malayalam word Thiru Anantha Puram Ipa, T, Irun, T, Perm, listen, meaning, the city of Lord Ananta referring to the deity of the Sri Pamanabhaswami temple located in the city. Tiruvananthapuram is also known in the literature, and popular reference as Ananthapuri derived from the Sanskrit word Sayanandurapuram, meaning, the city of bliss, in Carnatic Kirtanas composed by Swati Tirunal, erstwhile Maharaja of Travancore. The city was officially referred to as Trivandrum until 1991, Trivandrum being the anglicized name of the town when the government decided to reinstate the city's original name Tiruvananthapuram. Topic history Tiruvananthapuram is an ancient region with trading traditions dating back to 1000 BCE. It is believed that the ships of King Solomon landed in a port called Ophir now Puvar in Tiruvananthapuram in 1036 BCE. The city was the trading post of spices, sandalwood and ivory. However, the ancient political and cultural history of the city was almost entirely independent from that of the rest of Kerala. The early rulers of the city were the Ays. Visionjam, which is now a region in the present-day Tiruvananthapuram, was the capital of I dynasty. Visionjam was an important port city from as early as 2nd century BC. During the I dynasty rule, Tiruvananthapuram witnessed many battles in which the Chola and Pandyan dynasties attempted to capture the port town. After the death of King Vikramaditya Varaguna in 925 AD, the glory of the Ays departed and almost all their territories became part of the Shara dynasty. During the 10th century, the Cholas attacked and sacked Visionjam and surrounding regions. The port in Visionjam and the historic education centre of Kanthalur Sala was also destroyed by Cholas during this period. 
A branch of the I family, which had been controlling the Pamanabhaswami temple, merged with the Kingdom of Vinad in the 12th century. In the late 17th century, Marthanda Varma, who inherited the Kingdom of Vinad, expanded the kingdom by conquering kingdoms of Attingal, Kolam, Kayamkulam, Kadarakara, Katiyam, Changanasari, Meenachil, Punjar, and Ambalapuza. In 1729, Marthanda Varma founded the princely state of Thiruvithamkur and Tiruvananthapuram was made the capital in 1745 after shifting the capital from Padmanabhapuram in Kanyakumari district. The kingdom of Travancore was dedicated by Marthanda Varma to the deity Sri Padmanabha Lord Vishnu. The rulers of Travancore ruled the kingdom as the servants of Sri Padmanabha. The city developed into a significant intellectual and artistic centre during this period. The Golden Age in the city's history was during the mid-19th century under the reign of Maharaja Swati Tirunal and Maharaja Ayalyam Tirunal. This era saw the establishment of the first English school 1834, the observatory 1837, the general hospital 1839, the Oriental Research Institute and Manuscripts Library and the University College 1873. The first mental hospital in the state was started during the same period. Sanskrit College, Ayurveda College, Law College and a second grade college for women were started by Mulam Tirunal 1885-1924. The early 20th century was an age of tremendous political and social changes in the city. The Sri Mulam Assembly, established in 1904, was the first democratically elected legislative council in any Indian state. Despite not being under direct control of the British Empire at any time, the city featured prominently in India's freedom struggle. The Indian National Congress had a very active presence in Tiruvananthapuram. A meeting of the Indian National Congress presided by Dr. Patabi Sitaramaya was held here in 1938. The Tiruvananthapuram municipality came into existence in 1920. The municipality was converted into a corporation on 30 October 1940, during the period of Chitra Tirunal Bala Rama Varma, who took over in 1931. The city witnessed many sided progress during his period. The promulgation of Temple Entry Proclamation 1936 was an act that underlined social emancipation. This era also saw the establishment of the University of Travancore in 1937, which later became Kerala University. With the end of the British rule in 1947, Travancore chose to join the Indian Union. The first people elected ministry headed by Padam Thanu Pillai was installed in office on the 24th of March 1948. In 1949, Tiruvananthapuram became the capital of Thiru Kochi, the state formed by the integration of Travancore with its northern neighbour Kochi. The king of Travancore, Chitra Tirunal Bala Rama Varma, became the Rajpramukh of the Travancore Cochin Union from 1 July 1949 until 31 October 1956. When the state of Kerala was formed on 1 November 1956, Tiruvananthapuram became its capital, with the establishment of Thumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station in 1962, Tiruvananthapuram became the cradle of India's ambitious space programme. The first Indian space rocket was developed and launched from the Vikram Sarabhai Space Centre in the outskirts of the city in 1963. Several establishments of the Indian Space Research Organisation were later established in Tiruvananthapuram. A significant milestone in the city's recent history was the establishment of Technopark India's first IT park in 1995. Technopark has developed into the largest IT park in the geographical area, employing around 40,000 people in 300 companies. Geography and climate Topic <inaudible> Geography <inaudible> Tiruvananthapuram is built on seven hills by the seashore and is located at 8.5 degrees north 76.9 degrees east 8.5 76.9 on the west coast near the southern tip of mainland India the city situated on the west coast of India and is bounded by the Locative Sea to its west and the Western Ghats to its east. The average elevation of the city is 16 feet meters above sea level. The Geological Survey of India has identified Tiruvananthapuram as a moderately earthquake-prone urban centre and categorised the metropolis in the seismic 3 zone. Tiruvananthapuram lies on the shores of Karamana and Kili rivers. 
Velayani, Thiruvallam and Aakulam backwaters lie in the city. The soil type in the middle part of the city is dark brown loamy laterite soil high in phosphates. Laterization is a result of the heavy rainfall and humid conditions. On western coastal regions of the city, sandy loam soil is found, and on hilly eastern parts of the district, rich dark brown loam of granite origin is found. The Tiruvananthapuram Corporation is spread over 214.86 square kilometers, 82.96 square miles. The wider Tiruvananthapuram metropolitan area comprises Tiruvananthapuram Corporation, three municipalities and 27 panchayats, as of 2011. Being the largest city in India's southern tip region, it is essential for both military logistics and civil aviation in the southern part of the country. Tiruvananthapuram is the headquarters of the Southern Air Command of the Indian Air Force. Climate. The city has a climate that borders a tropical savanna climate and a tropical monsoon climate. As a result, it does not experience distinct seasons. The mean maximum temperature of 34 degrees Celsius and the mean minimum temperature is 21 degrees Celsius. The humidity is high and rises to about 90% during the monsoon season. Tiruvananthapuram is the first city along the path of the southwest monsoons and gets its first showers in early June. The city receives heavy rainfall of around 1,827 mm per year. The city also gets rain from the receding northeast monsoons which hit the city by October. The dry season sets in by December. December, January and February are the coldest months while March, April and May are the hottest. The lowest temperature in the city core recorded during winter was 16.4 degrees Celsius on, and the highest temperature recorded in summer is 38.0 degrees Celsius. Demographics According to provisional results of the 2011 National Census, Corporation of Tiruvananthapuram, which occupies an area of 214 square kilometers (83 square miles), had a population of 957,730. The city's population density was 4,454 per square kilometers (11,540 per square miles). The urban agglomeration had a population of 1,687,406 in 2011. The sex ratio is 1,040 females for every 1,000 males, which is higher than the national average. Tiruvananthapuram's literacy rate of 93.72% exceeds the All India average of 74%. Malayalis form the majority of Tiruvananthapuram's population. Among Tiruvananthapuram's smaller communities are Tamils, Punjabis. According to the 2011 census, 68.5% of the population is Hindu, 16.7% Christian and 13.7% Muslims. The remainder of the community includes Jains, Jews, Sikhs, Buddhists and other religions which accounts for 0.06% of the population, 0.85% did not state a belief in the census. Malayalam, the official state language, is the dominant language in Tiruvananthapuram. English is also used, mainly by the white-collar workforce. Tamil and Hindi are spoken by a sizable minority. The city also has a few Tulu, Kannada, Konkani, Devehi, Telugu, and Urdu speakers. As per 2001 census, the population below the poverty line in the city was 11,667. Tiruvananthapuram has witnessed massive migrations of workers from the north of India, mainly West Bengal, Bihar, Punjab, Haryana, Madhya Pradesh, etc., and from the neighbouring countries like Sri Lanka, Maldives, Nepal, and Bangladesh. Administration The Corporation of Tiruvananthapuram or TMC oversees and manages the civic infrastructure of the city's 100 wards. Each ward elects a councillor to the Corporation of Tiruvananthapuram. TMC has the power to act as the local government of the city. TMC is headed by the mayor, who is elected from among the councillors. The mayor is responsible for the overall, supervision and control of the administrative functions of the TMC. The corporation discharges its services through the standing committees. 
The corporation secretary is an officer appointed by the government, who serves as the administrative head administrative head of the TMC and implements the council decisions based on the resolutions adopted by the council. The functions of the municipal corporation are managed by seven departments. Engineering, Health, General Administration, Council, Accounts and Revenue. For the decentralized role of TMC, 11 zonal offices are created. The zonal offices are in Fort, Kadakampali, Namam, Ulor, Adipra, Thiruvallam, Kazakutam, Srikariam, Kudapanakunu, Vatiorkavu and Visionjam. The functions of the TMC include water supply, drainage and sewerage, sanitation, solid waste management, and building regulation. The Tiruvananthapuram Development Authority is responsible for the statutory planning and development of Greater Tiruvananthapuram Region. As the seat of the Government of Kerala, Tiruvananthapuram is home to not only the offices of the local governing agencies but also the Kerala Legislative Assembly, and the State Secretariat, which is housed in the Kerala Government Secretariat complex. Tiruvananthapuram has two parliamentary constituencies Attingal and Tiruvananthapuram and elects five members of the Legislative Assembly MLAs to the state legislature. <laughs> <laughs> Law and order The Tiruvananthapuram City Police is the main law enforcement agency in the city. It is headed by a commissioner of police. The Tiruvananthapuram City Police is a division of the Kerala Police, and the administrative control lies with the Kerala Home Ministry. Tiruvananthapuram City Police are the largest police division in Kerala, and it consists of 10 circle offices and 21 police stations and a sanctioned strength of 3,500 police personnel. The Central Prison is the oldest prison in Kerala and the headquarters of Kerala Prisons and Correctional Services. Topic: Military and diplomatic establishments. Southern Air Command of the Indian Air Force is headquartered in the city. There are two state armed police battalions and a unit of the Central Reserve Police Force (CRPF) based in Tiruvananthapuram. The CRPF has a group headquarters (GHQ) located at Palapuram. There is also a large army cantonment in Pangode, which houses some regiments of the Indian Army. In the city also function Consulate of the United Arab Emirates, Consulate of Maldives and Honorary Consulate of Sri Lanka, Russia and Germany. <laughs> <laughs> Utility services The Kerala Water Authority supplies the city with water that is sourced from the Karamana River, most of it drawn from Aruvikara and Pepera reservoirs and is treated and purified at the Aruvikara pumping stations. The Wellington Water Works, commissioned in 1933 is one of the oldest city water supply scheme in India. The sewage water is treated at Mudathara Sewage Treatment Plant, which handles 32 million litres per day. The city area is divided into seven blocks for the execution of the sewage system. Electricity is supplied by the Kerala State Electricity Board. Fire services are handled by the Kerala Fire and Rescue Services. Topic economy Tiruvananthapuram's economy comprises information technology, education, plantations, aerospace, commercial and tourism-related activities. Tiruvananthapuram district contributes 10.31% of the state's GDP. With an economic growth of 13.83%, Tiruvananthapuram is the fastest growing district in Kerala. Tiruvananthapuram was listed as one of the top 10 cities in India on Vibrancy and Consumption Index by a study conducted by global financial services firm Morgan Stanley. State and central government employees make up a large percentage of the city's workforce. Tiruvananthapuram is a major aerospace research centre in India. The Vikram Sarabhai Space Centre, the most significant and led centre of ISRO, and several space-related state-owned ISRO centres such as Thumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station, Liquid Propulsion Systems Centre, and ISRO Inertial Systems Unit are all based in Tiruvananthapuram. The Brahmos Aerospace Trivandrum Limited is one of the leading missile integration and defence production units in India. The city's other major industries include Travancore Titanium Products, Kerala Automobiles Limited, Milma, English Indian Clays, Keltron, Trivandrum Rubber Works and HLL Lifecare Limited. Tiruvananthapuram is a major IT and ITES hub in India. 
The city contributes around 55% of Kerala's total software exports. Trivandrum houses major multinational technology companies like Oracle Corporation, Nissan, Allianz Technology, Investnet, Tata Consultancy Services, Infosys, Toons Animation India, UST Global, Ernst & Young, Flitixt, Navigant, Tata Elxi, McKinsey and & Company and Quest Global. Technopark is the largest information technology park in India in terms of built-up area. It is the largest employment base campus in Kerala with 52,000 IT, ITES professionals and about 400 companies. Other IT, media and industrial campuses include Kinfra Film and Video Park, Kinfra Apparel Park and Chithranjali Film Complex. Several new IT, biotechnology and industrial campuses like Technocity and Bio360 Life Sciences Park are under construction. Tourism is also a significant contributor to the economy of Tiruvananthapuram. The presence of natural attractions like beaches, backwaters, hills, plantations and attractions like heritage, history, Ayurveda, medical tourism and knowledge centers attract a large number of tourists to the city. The city has seen a remarkably high surge of investments in the real estate, infrastructure and retail sectors in 2016-17. Port related activity is low mainly due to the underdevelopment of ports. Vision Jam International Seaport is a transshipment port currently under construction. Vision Jam Port's location is close to the international shipping routes and, it is just 10 to 12 nautical miles from the busy Persian Gulf Malacca shipping lane. The port also has a natural depth of 18 to 20 meters which can allow handling huge container ships. The berths at Vision Jam Port are designed to cater to vessels of up to 24,000 TEU. Tourism. Tiruvananthapuram is a major tourist hub in India. Kovalam and Varkala are popular beach towns located near the city. Other important beaches include Puvar, Shankamugham Beach, Asamala Beach, Visionjam Beach and Veli Beach. The Pamanabhaswami Temple is one of the richest temples in the world. Other places of interest include Agasthimala Rain Forests, Nayar Wildlife Sanctuary, Kalar, Braymore, Panmudi Hills, Puvar, Anchuthangu Backwaters, Varkala Cliffs and Kapil Etava Lakes. The city is also known for its unique style of architecture involving Kerala architecture with British and Dravidian influences. Napier Museum, Zoo, Padmanabha Swami Temple, Kuthira Malika Palace, Kilimoor Palace and the Trivandrum Golf Club Heritage Building are examples for this. The main museums include Kerala Science and Technology Museum, Napier Museum, Kerala Soil Museum and Koyikal Palace Museum. Agasthimala Biosphere Reserve is listed in UNESCO's World Network of Biosphere Reserves. Culture Tiruvananthapuram is known as the Evergreen City of India because of its green landscapes and the presence of many public parks. Tiruvananthapuram has historically been a cultural hub in South India due to the active interest of the rulers of erstwhile Travancore in the development of arts, architecture and liberal customs. As a testimony to this, renowned artists like Maharaja Swati Tirunal and Raja Ravi Varma hail from the city. Prominent social reformers such as Sri Narayana Guru, Chattampi Swamikal, Ayankali, Vakam Mulavi, and C. V. Raman Pillai also are from Tiruvananthapuram. Two of the three Malayalam triumvirate poets, Ulur S. Paramaswara Iyer and Kumaran Asan, are from Tiruvananthapuram. Annual literature festivals like the Kovalam Literary Festival are held in the city. Literary development is further aided by state institutions such as the State Central Library, one of the oldest public library in India, which was established in 1829, and other major libraries including the Tiruvananthapuram Corporation Central Library, and the Kerala University Library. Tiruvananthapuram has been a hub of classical music, since the days of Maharaja of Travancore, Swati Tirunal. Tiruvananthapuram is known for many music festivals like the Navarathri Music Festival, one of the oldest festival of its kind in South India, Swati Sanjithatsavam, Soria Music Fest, Nilakanta Savan Music Fest and many other music festivals are organised by various cultural groups. The 111-day long Soria Festival is the biggest art and cultural event in Kerala. The Soria Festival features various art forms and events, including film festivals, theatre festivals, dance, music, painting and photography exhibitions. 
The Malayalam film industry was started in Tiruvananthapuram. The first Malayalam feature film, Vagathakumaran directed by J. C. Daniel was released in Tiruvananthapuram. J. C. Daniel is considered as the father of Malayalam film industry. He also established the first film studio of Kerala, the Travancore National Pictures at Tiruvananthapuram in 1926. The International Film Festival of Kerala IFFK, which is held every year on December is one of Asia's largest film festival in terms of viewer participation. In addition to various film festivals, the presence of film certification body like the Central Board of Film Certification's regional office, many movie studios and production facilities like the UMA Studio, Chitranjali Studio, Maryland Studio, Kinfra Film and Video Park and Vismaya's Max contributed to the growth of Tiruvananthapuram as a center of cinema. Apart from the famous Pamanabhaswami Temple, the city's architecture is championed by the Napier Museum and Tiruvananthapuram Zoo, one of the oldest zoos in India. Other architecture landmarks include Kuthira Malika Palace, Kaudiar Palace, Attikal Temple, Bhimapali Mosque, Kanamara Market, and the Matir Memorial Church. Tiruvananthapuram was the main centre of Lori Baker's architecture, along with the major festivals of Onam, Vishu, Navratri, Christian and Islamic festivals like Christmas, Eid ul Fitr, and Malad e Sharif. The diverse ethnic populace of the city celebrates several local festivals like Attikal Pingala, Bhimapali Ruse, Vedakad Church Festival, Pamanabhaswami Temple Aratu, and Lakshadipam Festival. During the Onam Festival, the state government conducts several cultural events for a week in the city. The Attikal Pingala festival attracts millions of women devotees across India and abroad. It is the largest gathering of women in the world. International, multicultural festivals are organized in the city by Germany's Goethe Zentrum, France's Alliance Française and Russia's Gorky Bavan centers by hosting a wide range of events and programs throughout the year. The general cuisine of the people is Keralite cuisine, which is generally characterized by an abundance of coconut and spices. Other South Indian cuisines, as well as Chinese and North Indian cuisines, are popular. Being a famous tourist destination, Tiruvananthapuram has many restaurants that offer international cuisine, like Arabic, Thai, Mexican etc. Transport Public transport The majority of bus services are conducted by government operators. There are also private operators. The city buses operated by Kerala State Road Transport Corporation are an important and reliable means of public transport available in the city. The main bus stations in the city are the Central Bus Station in Thampanur, where most of the long-distance buses ply from, and City Bus Station in East Fort, where most city buses ply from. Three-wheeled, yellow and black auto rickshaws and taxis, are other popular forms of public transport. Tiruvananthapuram Light Metro is a fully elevated metro rail, rapid transit system planned to ease the congestion in the city. <laughs> Road Tiruvananthapuram has a well-developed road transport infrastructure. The roads in the city are maintained by the Trivandrum Roads Development Company Limited TRDCL and Kerala PWD. TRDCL manages the 42 km city roads which come under the Tiruvananthapuram City Roads Improvement Project TRCIP, which is the first urban road project in India. TRCIP is a public-private partnership project to improve and maintain the existing road network in the city to cater to the needs of rapid urbanization. TRCIP has won the International Road Federation's Global Road Achievement Awards in 2015. TCRIP has also been selected by United Nations as a replicable public-private partnership model. It was one of the 12 public-private partnership project case studies from across the world which fulfill the sustainable development goals of the UN Agenda 2030. Tiruvananthapuram is served by National Highway 66 of India's National Highways System. The city is connected to the north-south corridor of the National Highway System at Aralviamazi, which is 80 km south of the city. The State Highway 1, which commonly known as the Main Central Road is an arterial highway in the city. Other major highways in the city are State Highway 2 and State Highway 45. The Mahatma Gandhi Road is the main arterial road in the city. 
Another important road is the Kaudiar Road which is also known as the Royal Road, as it leads to the Kaudiar Palace. Rail <inaudible> 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 Tiruvananthapuram is a divisional headquarters in the Southern Railway Zone of the Indian Railways. Long distance trains originate from Tiruvananthapuram Central and Kochuveli Railway Terminal. Kochuveli Railway Terminal is developed to ease congestion on Central Station and it acts as a satellite station to Tiruvananthapuram Central. Tiruvananthapuram Central is the busiest railway station in Kerala. Other railway station in the city are Tiruvananthapuram Peta, Namam Railway Station, Veli Railway Station and Kajakudam Railway Station. Being the southernmost municipal corporation in India, many longest train services of Indian railways originate from Tiruvananthapuram like Tiruvananthapuram, Silchar Superfast Express and Kochuveli, Amritsar Weekly Express. There are plans to develop a railway terminal at Namam Railway Station to reduce congestion at Tiruvananthapuram Central. Air Tiruvananthapuram is served by the Tiruvananthapuram International Airport, located at Chakai, only about 6.7 kilometres from the city centre. The airport started operations from 1935 and is the first airport in Kerala. Being one of the gateways to the state, it has direct connectivity to all the major cities in India as well as the Middle East, Malaysia, Singapore, Maldives and Sri Lanka. As the city is headquarters of the Southern Air Command of the Indian Air Force, Tiruvananthapuram International Airport caters to the Indian Air Force and the Coast Guard for their strategic operations. IAF has an exclusive apron to handle all their operations. The airport also caters to the Rajiv Gandhi Academy for Aviation Technology which carries out pilot training activities. C Small cruise ships often dock the Visionjam Harbour. A cruise terminal is under construction at Visionjam Transshipment Terminal. Visionjam Seaport has been designated by the government as an authorized immigration check post for entry and exit from India for international ships and cruises. Topic: Education. Topic: Primary and secondary education. Schools in Tiruvananthapuram are classified as aided, unaided and government schools. The government schools are run directly by the Kerala State Education Board and follow the syllabus prescribed by the state government. The aided schools also follow the state syllabus. Malayalam and English are the primary languages of instruction, Tamil and Hindi are also used. The schools are affiliated with the State Council of Educational Research and Training Central Board of Secondary Education Indian Certificate of Secondary Education International General Certificate of Secondary Education and National Institute of Open Schooling in the National Achievement Survey conducted by National Council of Educational Research and Training NCERT, Tiruvananthapuram is ranked as best in Kerala. The notable schools in the city include St Mary's Higher Secondary School, which is considered as one of the largest schools in Asia, with the total number of students exceeding 12,000. Government Model Boys Higher Secondary School, Government Higher Secondary School for Girls, SMV School, Trivandrum International School, Chinmaya Vidyalayas, Kendriya Vidyalayas. Vidyalaya, Loyola School, Christ Nagar School, Sarvadaya Vidyalaya, Nirmala Bhavan Higher Secondary School, Arya Central School, Jodi Nilayam School, St. Joseph's Higher Secondary School, St. Thomas Residential School, The Oxford School and VSSC Central School. Topic higher education and research Tiruvananthapuram is a major educational and research hub with various institutions in the fields of space science, information technology, physical science, biotechnology, engineering and medicine. There are three universities in Tiruvananthapuram, two state universities and one deemed university. The state universities are the University of Kerala and APJ Abdul Kalam Technological University. Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology IIST, is a government-aided institute and deemed university. 
IIST is the first of its kind in the country, to offer graduate courses and research in space sciences, space technology and space applications. The city also houses two institutes of national importance, Sri Chitra Tirunal Institute for Medical Sciences and Technology and Indian Institute of Science Education and Research Tiruvanantapuram is one of the regional headquarters of Indira Gandhi National Open University the government medical college, Tiruvanantapuram is the first and a premier medical school in Kerala, founded in 1951. Other notable medical schools apart from SCTIMST which provides superspeciality courses in cardiac and neurosciences and regional cancer center, Tiruvanantapuram which provides PG courses in radiotherapy and pathology, and superspeciality courses includes SUT Academy of Medical Sciences, Sri Gokulam Medical College and Government Ayurveda College, the city houses several prominent legal education institutions. The Government Law College, formed in 1875, is one of the oldest legal education institutions in India. The Kerala Law Academy is another major legal education institution. The major business schools include Asian School of Business, Set School of Management and Institute of Management in Kerala There are over 23 engineering education institutions in Tiruvanantapuram. Apart from IIST and IISER, the other major engineering education institutions includes, College of Engineering, Trivandrum Set, which is the first engineering college in Kerala, Government Engineering College Bartonhill GEC, Sri Chitra Tirunal College of Engineering SCT, ER and DCI Institute of Technology, University College of Engineering, and Mar Baselias College of Engineering and Technology. The University College Tiruvanantapuram established in 1866 and H.H. The Maharajas College for Women established in 1864 are two of the oldest institutions of higher education in India. Other prominent undergraduate and postgraduate colleges include the Government Arts College, Mahatma Gandhi College, Mar Ivanios College, Government Sanskrit College, Loyola College of Social Sciences, St. Xavier's College and All Saints College. Major fine arts colleges are Swati Tirunal College of Music, which is the first music academy in Kerala and College of Fine Arts Trivandrum. The Lakshmibai National College of Physical Education is one of the two physical education academic institutes of the Sports Authority of India .The premier research institutes in Tiruvanantapuram includes, Indian Institute of Information Technology and Management, Kerala IIITMK, National Institute of Speech and Hearing NISH, Rajiv Gandhi Centre for Biotechnology, Centre for Development of Imaging Technology CDIT, Centre for Development Studies CDs, Jawaharlal Nehru Tropical Botanic Garden and Research Institute, National Center for Earth Science Studies NCESS, Center for Development of Advanced Computing CDAC, and Oriental Research Institute and Manuscripts Library, Kerala University is ranked as the best university in Kerala according to the MHRD's National Institutional Ranking Framework NIRF. Kerala University also ranked top in overall institution rankings in Kerala. In engineering, Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology IIST is ranked as the best in Kerala and College of Engineering, Trivandrum set is ranked third in Kerala. College of Engineering Trivandrum is also ranked fourth in India and first in Kerala in architecture institution rankings. The University College is listed as the best college in Kerala. Media. Tiruvanantapuram has numerous newspaper publications, television and radio stations. Most of the media houses in Kerala are based in Tiruvanantapuram. The first Malayalam channel, Doordarshan Malayalam began broadcasting from the city in 1981. Asianet, the first private channel in Malayalam, also started its telecasting from the city in 1993. The other Malayalam channels based in the city include Asianet News, Amrita TV, Kappa TV, Kairali TV, Kairali We, Mathrabhumi News, Kamudi TV, Jaihind TV, News 18 Kerala and People TV. All major Malayalam channels, including Asianet, Janam TV, Jeevan TV, Media One TV and Manorama News have production facilities or offices in the city. TV channels are accessible via cable subscription, direct broadcast satellite services, or internet-based television. 
Prominent Direct to Home DTH entertainment services in Tiruvananthapuram include Sun Direct DTH, DD Direct Plus, Videocon D2H, Dish TV, Reliance Digital TV, Airtel Digital TV and Tata Sky. Major Malayalam newspapers available are Mathrabhumi, Malayalam Munorama, Kerala Kamudi, Dashabimani, Madhyamam, Janmapum, Chandrika, Thihas, Siraj Daily, Deepika and Rashtra Deepika. The English language newspapers with editions from Tiruvananthapuram are the New Indian Express, the Hindu, the Deccan Chronicle, and the Times of India, All India Radio, the national state owned radio broadcaster, airs medium wave and shortwave radio stations in the city. The Vivi Bharati of All India Radio also airs an FM radio station known as Ananthapuri FM. Other FM radio channels broadcast from Tiruvananthapuram are Big FM 92.7 MHz, Club FM 94.3 MHz, Radio Mirchi 98.3 MHz, Red FM 93.5 MHz and Radio DC 90.4 MHz. Topic. Sports. The most popular sports in Tiruvananthapuram are cricket and football. The city hosted the first international cricket match in Kerala at the University Stadium in 1984. The city also hosted the first 2020 international cricket match in Kerala. The Kerala Cricket Association is headquartered in Tiruvananthapuram. Prominent cricketers from Tiruvananthapuram include Sanju Samson, Raifi Gomez, Ryan Nainan, Anil Nambir, K. N. Ananthapamanabhan, Rohan Prem, Uttaramala Sebramaniam, P. M. K. Mohandas, Bhaskar Pillai and Pamanabhan Prasant. The Sports Hub, University Stadium, St. Xavier's College Ground, K. C. A. Cricket Stadium Mangalapuram, Medical College Ground and Veliani Agricultural College Ground are the main cricket grounds in the city. The sports hub, Trivandrum, commonly known as Greenfield Stadium is one of the largest cricket and football stadiums in India. Tiruvananthapuram hosted the 2015 SAF Championship at the Greenfield Stadium. SBI Kerala, Titanium FC, KSED and Kovalam FC are the major football clubs based in Tiruvananthapuram. Football is usually played in the Greenfield Stadium, Chandrasekharan Nair Stadium and University Stadium. The city has facilities to host most type of sports. Tiruvananthapuram was one of the main venues for the 2015 National Games of India. Athletic competitions are usually held at the University Stadium, Chandrasekharan Nair Stadium and Central Stadium. The Trivandrum Marathon is a marathon organized by the Trivandrum Runners Club every year. There will be two main races, a half marathon of 21 km and a full marathon of 42.19 km. A special 2 km fun run is also organized for public participation. Trivand Run is another marathon conducted every January in the city. Jimmy George Indoor Stadium is a major indoor stadium in the state. It is used for conducting basketball, volleyball, table tennis, gymnastics, aquatics, and martial arts. The stadium has the first altitude simulated training facility in South India, known as Astra. The major sports training and coaching institutions include the Lakshmibai National College of Physical Education LNCPE, TOS Academy and the Tenvik Sports Coaching Academy at the Sports Hub. Basketball tournaments are usually conducted by the schools in the city. Trivandrum hosted the 61st National Shooting Championship at the Vatiorkavu Shooting Range. Surfing is also a popular sport in the beaches. Many surfing and stand-up paddle tournaments organized in the city. The surf competitions are usually held in Kovalam Beach and Varkala Beach. Paragliding is another adventure sport usually seen in Varkala Beach. The Sai Trivandrum Golf Club, established in 1850, is one of the oldest golf course in India. It is currently leased out to the Sports Authority of India. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Sister Cities. Galveston, United States of America. Topic. See also. List of people from Tiruvananthapuram. Kerala. Technopark, Trivandrum. Tiruvananthapuram district.